All right, y'all. Let's talk about this Rihanna story. I keep seeing this Rihanna story pop up on my timeline. I guess she she uh, is mocking Christianity, which I mean, it doesn't really surprise me, to be honest with you. Um, there's a reason why Christianity is mocked. And there's a reason why other religions are not mocked. Just think about it from a, from from the perspective of, of spiritual warfare. And I'm pulling up the story right now. But from the perspective of, of spiritual warfare. What do you think the enemy is going to mock? Is the enemy going to mock the truth? Or is the enemy going to mock a lie? A lot of people say, OK, well, how come you don't do this with Islam? How come you don't do this with any other religion? Because why are you going to mock a lie? This is how spiritual warfare works. They're going to mock the truth and they're going to endorse the lies. So that's why they don't mock any other religion, because they're endorsing the lies, because they want you to think that those are the true uh, religions, when clearly we know that's a lie. And this should be a clear indicator to so many people that like, yo, how come Christianity is so attacked? Well, because it's the truth. It's because God has opposition in the spiritual realm. So if we follow God and if we're children of God, then we have opposition in the spiritual realm. So we have to be very mindful of the spiritual warfare and the battles that we are actively engaging in. And it's happening all around us. And one of the main places that it happens so often is the entertainment industry. And the inter listen, the entertainment industry is nothing more than a bunch of propped up puppets who are used as tools of promotion for the enemy. That's all it is. And yeah, I, I get it. Uh, like Rihanna is talented. She's made some very successful music. Um, she's a billionaire. I just found that out today. I didn't even know she was a billionaire. Like it's like everyone's a billionaire now. She's a billionaire. Um, but that doesn't mean that they're not using her as a puppet. They are using her. And I don't know what her beliefs are. I don't know what she believes in. But clearly, somebody who is filled with the Holy Spirit is not going to subject themselves to this type of promotion. They're just not going to do it. And I'm not even a Catholic, but I don't have to be a Catholic to sit here and say, like, this is blasphemous. This is demonic. This is satanic. Now, Rihanna did this interview with Interview Magazine. Um, the title of the interview is Rihanna is Ready to Confess. So they put her in a nun outfit to kind of go alongside that title. Um, the person who did this interview and who styled this interview is Mel Ottenberg, which we're going to get into to Mel in a second because I'm, I'm very curious to know who that is. Um, but, you know, the thing that always fascinated me so much with these types of um, these types of images and these types of like, you know, just these types of images as, as it relates to Hollywood and the entertainment industry, the fascination that the entertainment uh, industry has with these spirits of perversion, because who in their right mind is going to say, you know what? Let's dress Rihanna in a nun outfit, but let's try to make it as sexy as possible. Who in their right mind does that? That's a perverted spirit. That's a perverted spirit. That's not a spirit that comes from God. And also, you put a cross on her cheek. Like, I don't know why you had the need to put a cross on her cheek. Like, we already know what's going on. I think the freakiest part about this, and when I say freaky, I mean, like, scary. The scariest part about this, in my opinion, the creepiest part, is really the soullessness of her eyes. Her eyes look empty. They literally look empty. And I don't know what they did, if it's the makeup, if that's just really her eyes. I, it just, it, everything about this is off. Everything, of, and I can't even show you the full photo because it's like they have her breast out pretty much. It's like, I don't understand what y'all doing. I don't understand what y'all doing. And then on top of that, they got to put this picture in the mix as well, just to let y'all know. Just to let you let y'all know what they're really on. I don't understand why they do that like sunken eye makeup. Like they do her makeup in a way where it looks like her eyes are sinking into her skull. It's just, I don't know. It just looks very demonic to me. And I don't know what's going on with her teeth. 
but that does not look comfortable. Like, I don't know what type of, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I don't, is that a bridge? Is that, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. But once again, her eyes just look very soulless. What does it benefit the media to put out images like this? How does it benefit them? How does it benefit people to consume this type of content? I think everything that we see happening is much deeper than what we can actually see with our two eyes. There's deeper spiritual ramifications to what we see happening on this earth. And they're using the people who have the biggest platforms in order to push their worldly agenda. Even this photo, I mean, I guess it's not like outright demonic. It's just weird. It's strange. I don't get it. I'm sure there's a lot of symbolism that I'm missing. I just don't understand it. Like, I don't understand, like, because people say, oh, it's just art. I don't understand why art is so heavenly inspired by the demonic realm. Like, why does everything have, like, from an art standpoint, y'all got demons that are, that are creating the art. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't get it. I don't get it, man. I guess she got some backlash. As she should get backlash. Um, this is from the Daily Wire. That's a, this is like a really old photo. This has got to be a really old photo of, of Rihanna because uh, maybe I'm just tripping. I don't know. Maybe it's recent. But it says Rihanna dragged for a photo shoot dressed as none. Now do Islam. She's not going to do Islam because I already told you she's not going to put a uh, what is it called? A hijab. She's not going to put a hijab on her head and mock Islam. Because why would the enemy mock the very religion that he wants y'all to believe is the truth? He's not going to mock the propped up religion that he wants y'all to believe is the truth. He's going to mock the actual truth to try to get people to deviate away from Jesus Christ and to follow these false religions. That's why she's not going to do Islam. I guess she apologized, though. I'm trying to see where the apology is. Oh, it says, hold on. The singer, the singer references God several times throughout the interview, but doesn't mention her faith or religion specifically. They're not going to mention faith. They're not going to mention. This is this is my thing. So many people talk about God. Oh, I just want to thank God. I want to give praises to God. I, I'm going to pray to God. Okay, who are you talking about specifically, though? Because we understand that there's false gods. We understand that people worship false gods. So if you're not specifying Jesus Christ, then I don't know who you're talking to. The only other way for me to kind of determine or decipher if, if you're talking about Jesus Christ is by the fruit that you bear. And somebody who is filled with the Holy Spirit, somebody who's filled with the Holy Spirit is not going to be bearing this type of fruit. Is not going to be bearing this type of fruit. So what God are you serving? The God of this world? Probably. Well, anyway, it says the singer references God several times throughout the interview, but doesn't mention her faith or religion specifically. When asked how many kids she wants, Rihanna responds, as many as God wants me to have. The interviewer asked if that means more than two. She says, I don't know what God wants, but I would go for more than two. 
I would try for my girl, but of course, if another boy, it's another boy. This isn't the first time the singer has received backlash for using Catholic imagery. The singer wore a, is that bustier, boostier, bustier dress? What does that mean? Coat and bishop's hat to the Heavenly Bodies themed Met Gala in 2018. Some ex-users also pointed out how Rihanna apologized for offending Muslims in the past, but has never done the same for Christians. That's interesting. So she, if this is true, she's apologized for offending Muslims in the past, but has never done the same for Christians. And some people will say like, oh, that's because when Muslims get mocked, they stand on business. But I don't think that's why she apologized. I think she apologizes because it's spiritual warfare and she's trying to muster up as much confusion as possible. And I don't have anything personally against Rihanna. Like I always say this, we don't battle against flesh and blood. We, we battle against spiritual enemies. And clearly Rihanna is playing for the other side. So why would you expect her to apologize to Christians? Of course she apologized to Muslims. You know what I mean? But I thought she said, but I, I, I guess I must have misread this because I thought that she, that she apologized for this moment specifically. I don't know. Let's figure it out. It says in 2020, in 2020, uh, that's good. In 2020, she thanked Muslims, uh, Muslim fans for pointing out a huge oversight that was unintentionally offensive in our Savage Fenty show. Rihanna had included a song that featured an Islamic verse known as a Hadith in her fashion show. I would more importantly like to apologize to you for this honest yet careless mistake. We understand that we have hurt many of our Muslim sisters and brothers, and I'm incredibly disheartened by this. She said at the time, I do not play with any kind of disrespect towards God or any religion. And therefore, the use of this song in our project was completely irresponsible. So this is back in 2020. She said that I don't play with any kind of disrespect towards God or any religion. And therefore, the use of this song in our project was completely irresponsible. So this is how I know Rihanna's a puppet. That statement right there is exactly how I know Rihanna's a puppet because she said that I don't play with any religion and I don't play with God. But then just a few years later, you post this. That's just your PR team just putting out a statement. Your PR team put out a statement to try to save face so that you can keep touring in all these Muslim countries and keep making money off it and not fear for retaliation. That's really what it was, because you didn't really mean that. Because you have no problem mocking Christianity. Because that gives you a certain amount of uh, attention, and you can use that attention to profit off of that attention. And you can use that attention to make more money. And ultimately, you can use that attention to create more confusion, which is your ultimate goal so that you can deceive people away from Christ. And this, like I said, it's, this is a spiritual warfare. It goes far beyond just the flesh and blood. It's unfortunate that, you know, Rihanna is being used in this way, but look, we have free will. We have, we have the decision to stand up for ourselves. We have the decision to put our faith in Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ gives us all power and authority in the spiritual realm. So if she wants to get out of this, she can. But I think she's blinded by the money and the success and the people around her. So she didn't really apologize. She didn't really apologize. Let me go to her Instagram. Hold on. Hmm. Oh my gosh. This is not Rihanna. That 
That's her Instagram. This is that's not Rihanna. Does she have an Instagram? I don't know what's going on, bro. Let me see if there's anything on compromised passwords. Let me see if there's anything on TikTok. <laughs> Rihanna. <clears throat> Um, what is this? Mandela theme and execution was heavenly bodies. This theme was all about religion and imagination, and almost every single attendee nailed the theme and brought some of the most memorable and iconic looks. Like Lively always gets it right. Rihanna in custom Margelle emulating Pope Sunday is Joan. Oh, she dressed up as a, as a pope. So the Met Gala, they did a Heavenly Bodies theme in 2018, and she dressed up as a Pope. Huh. They said Nicki Minaj dressed as a devil in 2018. Hold on. Oh, I see. Yeah, she did. I remember this. I remember this. I didn't know the theme was Heavenly Bodies. But I do remember when she dressed up as a devil. That's interesting. Huh. Okay. Yeah, that's weird. They're all puppets. They're all puppets. They're all puppets. Some of them break out of it. And like I said, we have all power and authority in the spiritual realm that's been given to us by Jesus Christ. But like. If the enemy's keeping you happy. If the enemy's keeping you fed, if the enemy's keeping money in your pocket. If the enemy's keeping you, you know, relevant, and that's really the only thing that you care about, then I don't think you're going to have any problem promoting the wickedness of the enemy and blaspheming God, you know? So I'm not surprised. Um, I always say that, but I'm truly not surprised. It's just weird, you know? But let me know what y'all think. Get in my comments, like this video. I'm out, y'all.